So, I woke up this morning from a marvellous dream and then went back to reality. I must admit, it's quite an interesting title today. China Files Money Laundering in the Chinese Government. And why did I come to the conclusion of this? Well, it was because of this video. Take a look at this first and then let's go into my huh, conspiracy theory. <laughs> Now, this video was on Twitter a couple of days ago, and this is what it's actually quoting, up to 100,000 RMB and 20,000 RMB minimum. Now, if you want to know the translation into, let's say, American, let's say 100,000 there, divide that by 0.5, it's about $13,300 in a remote but good village. The villagers are both shareholders and employees. 200 elderly people, 6 million RMB in 2022 divided and money given to. Even though it's in a small village, they are using cash. China is near enough a cashless society. Everything you pay for is usually through WeChat money, a third party uh, electronic payment system or Alipay or even the government Chinese payment system as well from the Bank of China. And very rarely cash is used. So when I saw this amount of cash, I went, wow, oh my God, um, cash, is easy to do money laundering and possibly doing it in their own country. This may be me being absolutely bonkers and a useless conspiracy theory, but can you really believe this is actually happening? That six million, which is just under one million American dollars, divided but between 200 elderly people. Let's work it out, okay? So, they're saying six million. Duh, 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 duh. There, I got it on my calculator. Divide that by 200 old people, which makes it out to 30,000. Now, divide that by 7.5, let's go for, so it's about 4,000. Why don't they have the electronic payment system there? Or is it so remote that it's only cash is king? But in China nowadays, the infrastructure is near enough claiming to be so good. And the internet, the 5G, the 4G is the best in the world. Why are they dealing with cash? There's my question. So automatically, I would say money laundering comes to hand, giving this dirty cash to the older generation for something that they think they've invested in, blah, 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 blah. And the dividends, they're just going to spend the dirty money too, making it therefore clean money. I sort of need to take a break. Yes. Now the New Year celebrations are over around the world, but the fireworks do leave a little bit of a mess, and I just wonder who's going to clean it all up. Travelling Chinese people at the moment is in the news and many countries, which I will get to later, will require people to have a test before they leave and evidence of that and random PCR test related to COVID-19. This video here was from a couple of days ago, um, Beijing airport or one airport, showing that travellers are on the increase of leaving China because now they can, because zero COVID is like a thing of the past. 
But here are no negative results, no entry from US, France, Australia, Canada, the UK, Israel, Japan, South Korea, India, Morocco, Italy and Spain. And when you do arrive, you've got to show that you have zero, that you don't have COVID by a PCR test done in China. And again, a random check done as well, which you can see here. The thing which is actually quite interesting with this is from our world in data, China mainland, at least 92.4% of the population of 1.4 billion people have had the first dose of their own injection, which is the Sinopharm and the Sinovac. And fully vaccinated is 90.2. Fully vaccinated, it varies from country to country. Some countries say two, some countries say three. So why haven't that 2.4 or 2.2 percent of people haven't been fully vaccinated they've had the first then didn't go to the second hence this is possibly another reason why the cases are rising in china and i think they will continue to rise for a day or so maybe a week and then i think they will start to pivot down before the chinese new year which is january the 21st january the 22nd then maybe maybe the cases will go up because of social distancing it's all something that we've done in the past another break time. two more pieces of news to go i did find another video on twitter related to someone who's been posting tweets on weibo which is the chinese twitter related to her life her free day life related to her having covid and this is what she's got to say and her english is pretty good even with a slight american accent i do believe is my second day fighting against virus and now the temperature is 38 degrees my whole body's really sensitive it's like a hedgehog covered with thorns and of course in the throat there is a knife as well it hurts all over if anybody here is standing close to me, I would be like, don't touch me. Because <laughs> my back sores, my weight sores, my butt sores, my leg sores. Now I totally understand the feeling of the Princess P in the starry once upon a mattress. It's really fragile. It's just like the whole body is no longer yours. Most people will have the fever in three days. Tomorrow's gonna be the fever's last day, so... <laughs> I'll just um, stand here and wave goodbye to the fever. Hope it's gone forever. And I'm really grateful that I didn't have to experience this virus three years ago or two years ago or a year ago. Because at that time, the virus was too strong for me to handle. But now it's just sort of like a flu. Maybe more serious. But I can deal with it anyway. Because of being united, we don't have to face the virus three years ago. Because of being united, we waited for three years to get there. And because of being united, we're... And finally, something which I haven't done for near enough a week now is about the Free Gorges Dam and the ship's locks related to the traffic. Now, please note, this does come from Chinese state media and the transparency is sort of pretty minimal and they would always beef up numbers where they need to beef up numbers and they will put down numbers where they need to put down numbers etc etc please remember 2022 in china on the yangtze the upper parts of the yangtze there was a severe drought all the way near enough to wuhan in the center of china which is on the yangtze river but this is from new china state media saying th about the ship's locks on the free gorges i think this is a couple of days ago so please take a look at this
That brings us to a close on Tuesday the 3rd of January 2023. God bless to everyone and as always the courtesy messages like, subscribe and share. Patreon is there. Join the button for the membership program is there. You can enjoy the exclusive club of the Buzz 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 channel. And Super Thanks is there if you want to donate to the channel, which will be highly appreciated. And my cats will be very happy because most of that money goes to cat food, basically. Have an excellent day wherever you are in the world. Leave some comments. I love them. If you think I'm completely balmy, then say I'm balmy. It's fine. Be well. Be safe. Bye-bye. Thank you.